Hey gang, JJ here. Uh, I get a lot of questions about this ab wheel. A lot of people have these in their garage gyms or at their gyms at home, and uh, they're not exactly sure how to use it most effectively. Uh, this is a bit of an advanced core move. It's great, uh, but be careful. Uh, there's lots of great core moves. You can get some on my website for Pavlov Press and Dead Bugs and all sorts of planks, but uh, this is a good one uh, for strengthening the core, core stability, as well as toning the abs. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, what I think is a good one, and then I'm going to show you kind of what I see a lot of people do. All right, so good one. We want to fully extend through the hips. Keep your shoulders down and extend as far out as you can, and then press into your hands and kind of round up a little bit, okay? So that was a super slow one. A little bit faster, we'll go out slowly, come back, right? It's a smooth, slow, controlled. My arms stay straight and I kind of, I get a little bit of uh, movement through my spine, okay? Now, what I often see people do is one of two things. They hold their hips back, right? So see how I'm keeping my hips back and then they kind of come up like this, right? I wanna, as I showed in the good one, fully extend my hips so I get close to the ground. And then the other thing I see is even if they come all the way out, people tend to pull back with their hips Right, so I'm kind of like that. And what I want to do is think about moving my hands and rounding up a tiny bit, all right? All right, be careful, enjoy, and uh, let me know if you have any questions.